Good Tuesday morning, Catalina Foothills Church. Um, this is Rob Penley, and it's my privilege to plan to preach for you this Sunday as we're going to look at Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 through 11, which read as follows. Finally, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and is safe for you. Look out for the dogs. Look out for the evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. For we are the real circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also, if anyone else thinks that he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Can't wait to look at this passage with you, so rich. Um, but I think I want to focus on this for this morning. Verse 1, where he says, To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and it's safe for you. This is one of the amazing realities about growing in Christ, about gospel ministry, whether it's in the church or in your friendships or family, and that is this, that the message is unchanging. The hope is not, the hope is new every morning, but the reason for the hope is not new every morning. Paul is basically saying to these guys, listen, I'm going to tell you the same thing I've always told you. And you know what? It's no trouble to me. And it's safe for you. What Paul's saying there is this. Look, as a preacher, I've got one message. And that is Christ crucified for you. And a righteousness that comes from God that is not earned by you. That's all I've got. And from time to time, because we live in a culture that worships almost new things and new thoughts, there is a compulsion to want to be creative. And what Paul is saying is, hey, I'm not going to try to be creative. i got one song to sing, and it is Jesus, and that he loves you and makes you right with God by faith. And you know what else? He says, and that's safe for you. What Paul's saying is, I know the human tendency. You guys think that it's some formula that it's some new teaching that's going to liberate you or set you free. And he's saying, no, what's going to set you free is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so that's what's safe for you. It's unsafe for me to give you another message, to give you anything to build your confidence upon other than Jesus Christ. So may God give you grace today to celebrate the one song is enough and the one song never gets old. And that that is the one song that's good and safe for God's people because it keeps us dependent and uh, in relationship with him. Have a good Tuesday.